for those of you who don't know, there are there are techniques to uh, what I like to say is to trick your brain into memorizing things without repetition. That's the best way to describe it. So it allows someone like me for my Guinness record to memorize 59 decks of cards uh, nearly flawlessly with only one mistake out of 3,068 cards. Um, it allows other people to memorize like the entire Bible word for word. I know a person uh, very close actually who memorized 80,000 words of pies in Japan and he got the Guinness record for that. Um, and there's different, uh, different records for speed and things like that. But the point is, Human beings, really, we want to push the envelope. We want to push ourselves to new levels. Uh, and yet, the majority of people, unless you've really been introduced this at some point, like in an interview like this, the majority of people never actually realize that there is um, a kind of quasi-secret set of techniques that anybody can learn with uh, an incredibly small amount of practice comparatively. Like it's not even as much practice as you'd put into, you know, learning how to hit a baseball. Um, it's, um, you know, a few weeks, that sort of thing. You know, it's not something you'll learn overnight, but, you know, give it a few weeks with a little bit of practice. And you can do things like memorize decks of cards, memorize binary code. I've memorized thousands of digits of binary code, numbers, names, uh, all sorts of things. And of course, the practical applications are immense. Uh, people are going to be doing better in school. Uh, as lifelong learners, they're going to be doing better in work. Um, I'm hired all the time by corporations uh, and uh, and individuals to uh, to kind of get that extra edge in life and business. Um, in today's day and age, uh, we're so much more competitive. We have to know so much more information. We have to be lifelong learners or we'll be replaced really quickly. So that's a really big concern. And also, you know, for people like, you know, uh, one of the main uh, things I do is I speak in the college market, for example, and I speak to a lot of college students who did really well in high school, but when they're in college, obviously we know the, the, the demands are much higher and they start falling behind and they get, get, get very emotional about it, you know, mm -hmm. and they don't realize that it's a, your brain is a machine and if you run it properly, I could take anybody who's failing uh, miserably, like ready to drop out, I could get them mm -hmm. to near the top of the class. And I know that because I know how the brain works. I don't have to know even that material. I've done it hundreds, thousands of times with students. 